In this video I am going to quickly show how to set up the deposit payments or partial payments for WooCommerce and it's gonna work in a way I'm gonna show you right now. So I have a product here I can choose whether to pay full amount or pay deposit and it's gonna be 30% of the items cost so I'm gonna add it to the cart. As you see it says deposit amount and future payments. Now I'm gonna go to the checkout once again it says deposit amount and future payments due today amount here future payments amount here I'm gonna place the order later if I go to the my orders page there is status partially paid and I have a action button here called pay if I click on it I can pay the amount that is due at this moment so if you're interested then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes to set it up. Now in order to make all this work we're going to go to the plugins, add new and search for deposits and partial payments for WooCommerce. This one here. Install and activate it and after that go to the deposits menu on the left. Here are some options for you to configure. First one whether to enable or disable the deposits, I have it enabled. You can activate deposits only for logged in users. If you want to do that, then activate this option here. Deposit type, whether it's percentage or fixed amount, I have it on a per percentage and 30%. Here I can select the default selection, whether it's full or deposit payment. I have it on a full. Also, if the order is fully paid, what is the status? I have set it up to complete it. The nifty feature is that I can disable the payment gateways for the deposits. So I disable the bank transfer and credit cards. Here are some labels and text I can change. So if I would like to change the deposit text, just do it here. Do it and save it. Now let's go to the products. By default, the deposits are activated for all the products here. But if I open this product for editing, there is an option called deposits. Whether to enable or disable it, I can disable for this product only. Update it, view, and as you see, there is no deposits option here. I'm going to open up next one. One second, deposits. Enable deposits, yes, deposit type, percentage, 30% is a default deposit payment, but let's imagine that for this product I'm going to set it up to 10%. Just update it, view the product, and if I choose a deposit, as you see, this one is 10%, but for this product, it's 30%. And now let's test how does it work. So, deposit payment, 30%, I'm going to add it to the cart. All the information is here. I'm going to go to the checkout, cash and delivery. As you see, due today and future payments are shown here. So, I'm going to place the order. And now, if I open up the orders, as you see, the status is on hold. It's because I haven't paid. If you pay with a credit card or with a... PayPal, for example, then it's going to be partially paid as this one here. But I can change it. I'm going to open it up, change it to partially paid, update it. Now let's refresh the orders page. And as you see, it's partially paid. And this button appeared here. For this order, it doesn't show because it's on hold. I haven't received the payment. Once again, I can open up this one here and set it to partially paid, update, refresh, and the button appears. If I click on it, it takes me to the payment page with my future payment amount here. Also, there is a payments menu on the left. As you see, you can see all the payments here. If you open it up, it just opens up the order itself. So these were the deposit payments and partial payments. I have also made a video about the partial shipping. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen where the video is shown. So take a look at it. It's also full of useful content. Now, before you go, press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. 
and meanwhile, take care.